Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery Software, and I am on my Sonet Platinum, and I bet you didn't know that you could make your own fonts using the fonts that are on your computer. And there are lots of free places online where you can get fonts. I just give give you a word of caution that you know, make sure that they are legit sites and you're not downloading something that is going to give you a virus. Okay, so let's begin. First, I want you to go around, go onto my sonet.com and take a look around. There are lots of things on there. Um, some people don't know that there's an, a knowledge center right here. And it used to be what was called the old vantage program that people paid for but now it is free so that is an awesome 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 thing so you have the vantage point newsletter and each of these um, lessons can contain videos and files and worksheets and everything you need to complete the project so that is totally totally awesome and there is lots there. Okay. So. And some of you don't know that the MySona is actually a free download. And with that free download, you do, do get some limited fonts. And the quick font is there for you to make your own fonts for free. Awesome, awesome. And on here, I believe the project creator is free. The Sonet Cloud is free. There are even, if I'm not mistaken, Free embroidery designs. Let's see if we get any. Ah, that's free, free lace. Um, but occasionally they do release free designs. Stitches less to more. All right, I don't see anything on there. My favorite purchase news. Um, They do have tips and hints on here of how to use the different um, stabilizers, how to use the special attachments and things like that. Those are all free. That's pretty cool. There are designs on here that you can purchase. As you can see, I have in my shopping cart, and I haven't decided if I'm going to you know buy them or anything but I just put them in my shopping cart and they're probably in my because I do have a subscription right now they're probably in my purchased designs library which means I need to get into there too sweet before my subscription runs out so all you have to do to, to get the free version is of course you need to make an account on my Sonet you need to download the software and then you need to go ahead and download all these because if you don't download all of those other optional ones they say they're optional but I've seen where if they didn't um, if people didn't um, install them and then they went to like a, a free lesson at your local gallery dealer then they were missing things that they needed. So the free plan does have the quick font. You also have the quick start guide down here and you have the help guides where you can go in and take a look and see how to do different things on the software. Okay, so I'm going to back back out a little bit again. And I'm going to go into the software 
Let me find the software. And the free font maker. On the Premier Plus embroidery, I'm just going to take a look and see if it's still here. On the Pre Premier Plus embroidery, it is right here. And it looks like it's also in the same spot in the MySona. The other place you're going to find the quick font is in your configure menu and in the utilities folder. That's where the thread cache is and also the quick font. That's where you check for your updates. And so I'm opening up the quick font. I don't have a whole lot of fonts on this computer at this point because it's a pretty new computer. When you are picking your fonts, you need to make sure, like this font is not a good font. It's got a lot of yuckiness in it. You know, if you were going to print something on a poster or something, that would be one thing. But stitching out on an embroidery machine, forget about it. So you want something that has some nice lines. Um, this would be something that I would maybe use. And you have some choices here. Whenever you see arrows, make sure you click on them to see what's going on. And, and you have two choices here. You can uh, make these to put on uh, a USB stick and plug into um, a machine, an embroidery machine that might not have very many fonts on it. Like some of the Husqvarna Viking line only come with four or five installed fonts on the embroidery machine for you to use. Here is a way to um, save these fonts and use them on your machine. But for now, I'm just going to do the embroidery, uh, my Sona embroidery system. If you were looking for some extra, um, I want to say symbols, I guess, you may find them in some of the other sets. Like some, some uh, of these sets would have like degree signs and uh, dollar signs, things like that. And some sets would not have those. Okay, so here's Harrington, and I chose bold. I'm going to say next, and this is what it's going to look like. Some of these fonts, um, when you actually look at them, they look a little funky. Here's a density of 5. Um... No pattern, my patterns. Nothing that's going to be a satin stitch. You could change it to another stitch if you wanted. And I don't know if I can. Okay, that's not going to let me zoom in for you, so. Anyway, your output size um, right now is minimum of 12 millimeters and maximum is 30 millimeters. And it can go as high as, I believe it says, 50 millimeters or almost 2 inches. Remember, um, what did I say? 25 millimeters is equal to about 1 inch, I believe. Here we have baseline, nearest point, continuous, depends on what you want. Sometimes I do nearest point, sometimes I just do continuous. And I am going to say that's what it looks like. Your pattern fill is going to look like this. Again, you have options. Whenever you have options, 
use them, take a look around, see what they do. The next is a pattern fill with a satin border. And you can see the red satin border on these. And you can also take that border and tune it up a little bit or tune it down a little bit. So if I went to a size three, uh, size three, you would see it have a thicker border. You can do just a satin border and they would stitch out that way. You can do an applique. I learned this a long time ago in a class at my local Viking sewing gallery and we made applique letters. Again, if you're going to do an applique letter, you got to think about, you know, how hard is this going to be to cut these shapes out? And some of us might even use a the cutwork needles to cut these out, which would be a lot easier. And then you could also do just an outline. Whatever you choose to do, Let's say I want, I'm, let's say I'm just going to save it as an outline. You can change your stitch length on that. And then you would say next. So I'm going to pay attention to what my output sizes are. And I'm going to say 25 millimeters to up to 120 millimeters. There is the font generation generated, and I am going to put, I think I had 25 millimeters to 100-ish millimeters. If you want to make several sets of these babies, maybe different sizes or um, one satin, one satin with an outline, one applique. You want to click this button and then you're just going to go finish. And remember the name Harrington 25 millimeter to 100. And I say OK there because I don't want to go back and make more. And then over here in your font menu, you are going to scroll down to my fonts. Come on. Should be in alphabetical order and everybody knows I can't do alphabetical order. So, um, and where did those babies go? All right, did I not save it correctly? There should be a folder in here called My Fonts. Hmm. And I'm going to make sure it's not tucked away in another font section. Hmm. Interesting. I just did this video in Premiere Plus 2 and I had a My Font folder. Very interesting. I'm going to go back and try that one more time. There is not a My Fot folder there. Must be I didn't do it right. So let's go back real quick. And I used Harrington.
and I am going to leave it right as is just for kicks and giggles and see where it put that font. Okay, stitch sections, it looks okay. Minimum, maximum, 12 to 30. My sonnet and board refont category in the My Fonts print catalog. We're going to say next and look at some of the other letters and say finish. And I'm just going to write Harrington 12 and finish. Oh, I think I know what happened. So it's still not showing my font here. So I am going to close the program down and then I'm going to reopen it. Because sometimes that's just the way things work. So lettering, let's see if it's there now. And there it is. That's what the issue was. So if you're out there making fonts and you can't find the fonts you just made, that's what the issue is. You have to close out the program and then restart it. Okay. And that was the Harrington font that I made to start out with. Okay. So that's how you make your own fonts. Uh, there are places online that you get free fonts just do a free font search and hopefully if you've got google uh excuse me if you've got uh, norton or one of those web browser safety things on there you can find a font that's not gonna cause you issues i have a whole huge huge font folder that is uh, on my other laptop and i just put it on a hard drive to, or an external hard drive to bring over into this computer. I just haven't done it yet. And if you were going to do that, say you have an old computer with um, some saved fonts that you really, really, really love. Let's see. You would go to this PC and what you are looking for is your Windows folder and your Windows folder and you want to scroll down to a folder called gee guess what fonts and there are all your fonts so th that's how you um, just copy it over copy this whole folder onto your external drive or USB or whatever and then just go ahead and put it in the font folder on your newer computer and you're good to go. Remember that font folder is usually in the Windows folder. Okay, so thanks for listening and we are done for the day. Thanks. Uh, remember to subscribe if you liked the, the video. And uh, catch you on the next one.